um, just not through the channels that we normally access music? Maybe, but I mean, I searched through like two pages of YouTube videos, which doesn't sound like a lot, but nowadays, if you search past the first page for a YouTube video, you know it's fucking obscure or it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's probably been deleted yeah. because, you know, fuck you, I guess. Pretty much. I mean, that's usually what it is. Like, so many so many uh, videos that I, I remember watching back in the day that I oh, remember yeah. the titles for, like, oh, I can't find them anymore. And then when you finally track down that channel, you discover that either the channel was deleted for copyright strikes or the video was taken down by yep. the user for some stupid reason. It's like, what? No, give me that back. So many videos I used to watch where just the audio's cut out of the entire video because part of it, they clipped a song or something. Or even a lot of videos where they use the entirety of the song just had their own like thing like i saw something someone posted that was just he drew a smiley face in ms paint to uh fucking i don't remember if it was okay go or whatever song it was and then all he did was move uh the circle so it looked like the smiley face was singing for the entire song of like green day or something like that it's fucking hilarious and i'm like i remember this video from like 10 years ago it's just it sounds so stupid young it's so simple yeah I I wonder if we could make those kinds of videos today and make them successful. No, you don't think so? Not at all. No, not not that. Like, well, one, it'd be taken down from fucking having copyrighted material in it. Um, but uh, it just, I don't think, I don't think so. Mm. Like, stupid shit does become memeified, but generally, the original stupid shit will do okay, and then it's like the remixes and the other parts of it. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, I mean, the, they become viral and stuff. Yeah, memes just, they're not what they used to be. <laughs> oh, God. Thankfully. <laughs> yeah, no, they used to be trash. Remember the, the one of the very first, trash. one of the very first memes was the dancing baby gift? The original, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Shared fucking through like a, uh, AOL email and shit. Yeah, like, like it shared through instant messengers mm -hmm. and, yeah, like. That was one creepy fucking baby, though. Wasn't it was it? just a creepy, I mean, he yeah. was just dancing to, um,. Fuck, what was that song? Ooh, uh, 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 it was the... I know, it was originally... I know, I remember seeing it on Allie McBeal. That, that Allie, yeah. yeah, like years and years ago. I still remember going to a friend of mine's house, um, and I think his mom or something mm -hmm. was like, oh, you guys have to see this. So we go down to his basement where they had just set up their computer, and I'm guessing it must have been either a Windows 95, maybe it was a Windows 98, I don't remember. Well, I think it was even earlier. Yeah. Well, if you're talking GIFs, like animated GIFs, yeah. you, I think you... Yeah, well, this was a simple video. This wasn't a GIF, because it had music. Yeah, you're looking at probably Windows 95. Yeah, because it, it, like it was like an early, like, I don't know what came before, MP4, but whatever. GP. Something like that, yeah. yeah. It was just a really bad video, and it just... Or maybe it was even Flash back then, I don't remember. But it was just the kid dancing to uh, some song. And I know, I can't remember the song. It was in goddamn Guardians, I think. The first Guardians movie. Right. But, uh, yeah, it was just, oh my god. It was so funny back then. We're laughing our asses off to this thing. Like, I hadn't even, I don't think, other than my dad's office computer. Right. Which was like a fucking <laughs> Apple II. I had <laughs> never used a computer. Right. And then later on, somebody gave me a hand-me-down piece of shit running DOS that I'd try and play Ghostbusters on, but I didn't have a goddamn mouse, so oh, I couldn't terrible. play half the games. Like, what was even the point? Oh, there wasn't. Like, we just threw it away. I had floppies. Full, oh, the wow. full, fl The full floppy. The, oh, the, the, the five and a quarter? Yeah, oh, oh yeah. I had those. I remember those. Like, I remember playing Oregon Trail from one of those, mm -hmm. and you had to, you put the disc in, you get to a certain point, you pull the disc out, flip it around, and put it back <laughs> in. <laughs> it's like, oh yes. my god. Yes. I didn't even know there were more games on it, yeah. to, because I didn't know I could flip it and yeah. find more games. So bad, man. Uh, yeah, there we Ghostbusters go, 2. Fucking, it wasn't even Ghostbusters, it was Ghostbusters 2, just to make it worse. Oh, wow, yeah. So there we go. We're Young Godly Geeks. I'm hey, Joe. I'm Luke. We're showing our age there a little bit. Uh, just a bit. I mean, shoot. Yeah. I mean, I'm I mean little, it was before my time. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little older than Luke, so yeah. I got to see some of the crazier things, you know. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> fucking DOS, man. One of my first computers that were mine was, was ran DOS, like DOS, uh, mm -hmm. MS-DOS 5.0. So um, the last version of DOS that was released... As its own operating system. Yeah. Before Windows was like, no, nah, that's just a part of Windows now. <laughs> um, and I remember, I remember uh, running QBasic 
mm-hmm. programming language and teaching myself to program Jeez. because that's all I had to do. Yeah. I, I had nothing to fucking do. <laughs> It's like that, or I can play the same SNES games or NES games. Like I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't even do that. Oh. Like I, I, I had, uh, I had that, and I had the RPG toolkit, like version one point four. <laughs> nice. So I, I sat there, I made a game, and I made quizzes and shit. Like, cause that's I, I couldn't do much. <laughs> um, eventually, I did get uh, Windows ninety eight installed on it. But it was such a dinosaur that it couldn't really... It couldn't even run Windows 98 all that well. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. But, I mean, I, I was able to play, like... like <clears throat> I was able to play Doom on it eventually, so that's kind of neat. Hey, you know? I mean, you can yeah, do that. Yeah, that, that, Doom and Wolfenstein, so all was not completely lost. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it was just trash. I remember my Windows 98 computer. I played a cracked version of uh, Do- of Quake, Quake 2. Uh, I, think, I think maybe I had Doom... But I don't remember playing it very much, because I mean, you could, if going from Quake Two, which is was like one of the early 3D game or like what we would consider a more modern game, yeah. Um, back to Quake and Doom, it was like, oh, why would I play that? Because I didn't have that, you know, I didn't play it before then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this that's where I started. I started yeah. with like Atari Twenty Six Hundred type mm-hmm. shit. So you know. Where like a character's made up of literally four pixels. Oh, yeah. I mean that was that was my bread and butter back in the day, man. I remember playing like Midnight Magic or and uh, <laughs> uh, River Raid and shit like that on the Atari. And then uh we got upgraded to the Nintendo and it was like a huge fucking step up. Because you went from these little oh, like I, sixteen yeah. color you know graphics to two hundred and fifty six color graphics now. Yeah. So Mario doesn't look like you know, E.T. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, yeah. That garbage. I remember going over to a friend's house late, much later. Like, I had an N64 at that time, but that was my first console I owned brand new. I had an NES that worked for about a month because it was a hand-me-down, and it just shit the bed on me. But I got to play Mario and Duck Hunt, right. which I think are two of the most important video games you need to play starting out. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, no, I mean... It, I can it, go back and play some Duck Hunt oh. now. Like we yeah. can't, we can't actually play it because of the way the gun worked. Yeah, we'd, we'd have to find an old CRT. But yeah, no, it would be great. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, we I went over to his house because they got an Atari twenty six hundred from like a garage sale or something that worked, and we'd sit there and play. Uh, Fucking, uh, I can't remember if it was soccer or football. And those little people, that just the, the the way they had to do the pixel graphics, just so ugly and weird looking. And the whole time, are am I on that side of the screen? Is that me? Is that you? Where's the ball? <laughs> There's a ball. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I thought we were playing, I thought we were playing Pac Man. <laughs> what the? What is this shit? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's all good though. That man. was good. It, it was some good times back in the day. Cruising USA, first game. Brand new, I owned. I wanted Mario 64 so bad, but I guess, I think because my grandfather ended up getting me the game, and he didn't know what the fuck. They got me the N64, he didn't know what the fuck it was, so he went, here's a game with cars. I like this. So I started playing that. Hated, I still don't like racing games. I love Cruising USA. Cruising that USA. That game was no, so fun. Cruising USA is a good game. Like, there's a lot of good arcade type uh, races out there, and that was definitely yeah. one of the one of the good ones in the, back in the day. I remember playing uh, California Speed was another yes. good one. Yeah, I think it was made by the same. No, maybe I'm thinking Cruising World, but I think it might have been made by the same people. Midway, maybe? Yeah, it was Midway. Yeah, I think it was Midway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I remember playing the fuck out of California Speed, man. Mm-hmm. It had some of the coolest cars. The fastest car in that game was a tractor. <laughs> ah, that's great. Yeah, no, like, and when I say fastest car in the game, like, dude, you're doing like zero to 60 in like a second and a half. Yeah. You're hitting 100 in less than two seconds. Jesus. You're hit. You're, it's one of those cars where you can hit the maximum speed that it would let you go mm. in the game, which was like 268 miles an hour. And that was 58 miles an hour faster than the next fastest car. Yeah. But you hit that speed in like four seconds. Yeah. So it was. It was it's just you win. It's cheat <clears throat> mode. Basically, yeah, it wasn't one of those things you could unlock right away. Like you had to really get into the game. I remember cruising USA. It was either I can't remember if it was an actual cheat code, or if it was just uh, like a, something you did and you unlocked uh, better cars. And I know you could get a cop car. I think you had to hold down the C button and then you had to hit a couple buttons. So I guess it was like a cheat, yeah, or, um, or an Easter egg <clears throat> type <throat> thing. 
But uh, you could unlock and use the cop car, and that was faster than any car in the game that I used. Right. And that was fun as hell. No, I, I love I love California Speed with the fucking tractor. Yeah. You get the tractor, you're winning every race. You're setting <laughs> all sorts of crazy records and shit. Yeah, yeah no, it, it's basically one of those games where it's like you get the tractor, you're winning. Yeah. If you if you have the tractor, you're going to win. Mm-hmm. So we've updated our privacy policy. Oh, yeah. Just so everyone knows. Um. We don't actually collect much in the way of data. <laughs> We're not taking data and selling it. We, we really don't, though. Um, like, you don't have to provide us any data to consume our podcast. You don't have to provide us any data to watch our videos on YouTube. Uh, we don't. We don't really collect much data. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you're all seeing this now because of the European Union changing the yeah, data the, laws. Yeah, their GPDR or yep. GDPR, General Data Protection Regulations. Um, now emails that being, from websites I didn't know I was still had accounts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I got an email from Uber. Like, when the fuck did I start yeah. an Uber account? You know, like um, that being said, though, uh, we do collect bits of data, um, but only when you actually submit it to us. So if you submit a comment, we collect data. Then um, if you create an account on the on the Ungodly Geeks website, which I don't even think I have that option enabled. <laughs> You collect, you know, we collect whatever data you provide there. But real talk, we don't collect data from you guys. We don't sell your data. We don't even make money off of this. Yeah. In fact, we lose money. Yeah. So. Shout yeah. out to the Patreon patrons. Yeah, that's, you guys. That's the only uh, thing that kind of her, uh, eases it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and we only make around eight bucks and some change. So we don't even quite make nine dollars from that. And, the cost for this, uh, not including my electric bill and the internet and all that, it's like forty ish dollars a month. Just uh, a minute. But it's all good. This is kind of a labor of love. Yeah, no, I mean but like I said, we we don't collect your data. Um that being said, our pod host does. Yeah. It collects a very basic demographic information. Basically how you access our podcast, how many times it gets listened to and what country you're in. Yeah. But we don't collect anything that can identify you. We don't collect any aggregate data. And we don't share any of your shit. We don't I sell mean, any of it. We don't have anything to sell. Yeah, WordPress is our web host. And no, obviously no, no. We Media don't... Temple is our web host. Oh, okay. But I did design the website in WordPress because I was a lazy son oh, of a bitch. Oh, right, right, right. <clears throat> so, Media Temple. So we don't, we don't have any trackers on our website. We don't have any ads at all. Mm. Um, I did notice, though, with TuneIn. TuneIn's a little shady. Um they do use a website to track the listens that is known to pass malware around. So I will warn you guys against that. I removed the TuneIn player from our website. Um, so at this point, there's nothing on there. We don't even use Google Analytics to track visits or anything. So yep, keep using your website. We're good. We're clear. We don't collect any of your data except what you give us when you leave a comment. And I don't think we've had a comment left on any of our posts in a year. <laughs> so, I mean... Although we do get a lot of spam comments that get blocked. Yeah, well, I was going to – I didn't even talk to you about that. Um, and, and again, Facebook notwithstanding, they're going to do whatever Facebook do. And you all know about that. Oh, yeah. Um, but the every time I've posted something on our Facebook, uh, especially like when I reposted the Deadpool 2, um, the links to the video and the, uh, the our, uh, our talk, yeah, the podcast immediately within seconds there was click here to watch Deadpool two 1080p da, 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 like stars and shit and then again and again and again and I sat there and just uh, like immediately banned and deleted like four comments right in a row. It was like, oh my god, you fucking vultures! Yeah, no, they create those fake Facebook accounts where they're run by bots, and they just they just hop on that it shit. It just man. those bots just must be searching. Yep. Anytime it gets a hit on that, immediately post the comment and moves on. Basically, yeah, that's kind of what happens, and it's, yeah. it's really sad. Like, like, like we, like I said, we don't do any of that shit. No. So they don't even do Facebook ads anymore because they do fuck all. Yeah, no, we, we we don't we don't mess with any of that. We we just we provide you with a podcast. We have a website where you know, boom, you can get it. If you're one of those people that get it through an app or a, like an iTunes service or Google Play Music or a, a, what fucking tune in or whatever, yeah, you're good. You guys, we don't collect anything from you guys, so yeah, you're good. I mean, we produce this content, we give it to you for free. We don't expect anything back mm-hmm. because it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's something that gives us gives us some structure in life. Yeah, it gives me something to you know do and 
look forward to. <laughs> God, that sounds so sad. Luke, I'm sorry your life is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Life's not that sad, but I mean, sometimes. It's, some <laughs> fun. it's something other than uh, like the norm to do. Yeah, I mean, we enjoy it. I yeah. know I definitely have a lot of fun with this. Um, yeah. Although, uh, sometimes behind the scenes, I can get really frustrated. Oh, yeah. The, you know, and the, 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 the editing and work goes into it. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we got some, we got some things. Yeah, you know. Kinda... Oh, I was going to mention my fucking grandmother asked. She's like, what do you record? I was like, yeah, we just chat for a while. Yeah. Can I listen to it? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> Um, I mean, she totally can. Oh, I, actually, I did. I said, well, I take that back. You can, but I'm not going to tell you how. <laughs> you can totally listen to it. You're just not going to like the things yeah. you say. Oh, I sh- is it dirty? <laughs> yes, Sometimes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, we embrace well, the dirtiness. Well, you shouldn't put that out. Well. Fuck, fuck, shit ass fuck. We <laughs> say it all the time. Exactly. Which is why I'm not going to even try to monetize the videos on YouTube should we ever no. reach that point, because we are nowhere near family friendly. Oh my god, the monetization rolls on YouTube just get shittier and shittier. I mean, here's I what I mean, you not do. just the monetization, but the uh, everything, I mean, the copyright I stuff. The... I mean, here's what you do. Okay, here here's how YouTube can fix things. And they never will do this. But here's what you do. You, you sit there and you group advertisers into certain tiers. Okay? And the people like us who are not family friendly, just give us the shittiest advertising. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Well, apparently they have a system sort of like that. But, I mean, their whole it, – it just doesn't – it doesn't work. Yeah, but and on moment- top of the backside of YouTube apparently – uh, not promoting videos that don't come in that top, like, totally 100% friendly type videos. Yeah. And they, they just end up not promoting them, don't show up on people's watch lists. This I, stuff did, did now... You, did you hear about what they're doing with the sub box? Well, they're not doing it, but the fact they're that testing. they that tested it makes you yeah, they're aware testing. that they might do it. They're testing a feature in the sub box where we'll, they're trying... We'll use a feature in quotations. To, yeah, feature, where they're trying to, uh, you know give you the content they think you're most likely to watch of your sub box, yeah. which, no, sort my fucking subs by fucking chronological order. That's, that's I'll what decide what for. I want to watch at the time, and if I want to it's watch something later, exactly. like you, you don't do that. Stop Leave that alone. It. Everyone <laughs> everyone hates the Twitter app. It's like Everyone that. fucking hates the way Facebook does it. We want to see our shit in the order that it comes out. We've... We That's, fucking subscribe to these people. We you we want this. Even if I don't fucking watch those videos, I still want to see them there. I mean, yeah, I, that that's why I use a third party of Twitter app. Yeah. I have the official Twitter app on my phone and it's only there to receive notifications. And then my third party Twitter app hijacks those notifications and shows me a notification of its own. Nice. It's a really hacky solution that works beautifully. Yeah. And I use that third party Twitter app because I want to see my tweets in chronological order. Yeah. I don't want to see what you think I want to see. I want to see what I know I want to see and I want to see everything that has been posted since I was last on in the order. So I can decide, do I want to act on that? Do I want to say something there? Do I want to make a stupid joke? Don't fucking show me what you think you want to see because you're always wrong. Yeah, on top Every of Every single fact. time. It's like, with all the data you collect on me, you still don't fucking know what I like. On top of the fact that you know from the bigger channels, the big money makers, like if you're subscribed to Kevin Hart's channel or Will Smith or The Late Show, these things, which is completely fine, you know for a fact that YouTube is going to make sure those are top. Whether you watch... One or uh, uh, one out of a ten or one out of a hundred of those videos, those would show up every single time you get in because those show up all the time on my suggested videos, even when I'm not. I haven't been watching those. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I don't want them to do this. No, it's leave it's my a sub box idea. alone. Do whatever you want to the trending. Do whatever you want to suggestions. Yeah. Do You've already you... fucked the trending. Yeah. You've already fucked the suggested videos, and it's generally bullshit in there. It's generally like we were just talking about that absolute kid friendly, like no controversy, no nothing, n- just burr, 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 burr. That's, uh, that. That's the, all the sh- only shit you see there generally. So don't mess with the subscriptions. We don't need that. Just leave it alone. 
Just, I just want to see. Stop, yeah, stop, stop my, fucking with our subs. My videos. Don't fuck with our subs. Yeah. Don't don't implement this feature, YouTube. Feature. Fucking the fact that they still call it a feature. The fact that they even put the thought into <laughs> well, it'll make it easier for people. Okay, if there's a problem that people are subscribed to that many channels that they have no idea and can't find videos, they need to go through and maybe start unsubscribing from some of those channels. You know, I'm only I was only subscribed to around 83 channels. Yeah, I went through and unsub from like. 12 yeah just just last night because some of them i was only following because of contests <laughs> that's funny and i'm sitting there and they'll, like they'll video their videos will pop up like why the fuck i don't want to yeah. watch that i don't care about you know this company's video camera the fact that it recorded the dog chewing on some dick shaped bone i don't <laughs> care so i went ahead and unsubscribed from a bunch of channels and it's like oh, yeah so much better I've got a bunch of channels that I don't watch, but I mean, there's a bunch of channels that don't re- even upload anymore. I'm still subscribed to. Yeah, like Alpha Cat. I'm still subscribed to Alpha Cat. He's yeah. uploaded one video since I last looked at his channel two years ago. Jesus. Like, I know there's a bunch of uh, there's animators that I'm subscribed to that barely ever update because I mean animations take for fucking ever, and unfortunately for them, they got hit probably hardest when YouTube, like this is a while back when they would, when they changed it from. Uh, um, just uploading videos to, uh, to, or time watched or whatever, however they changed the monetization. Uh, they went from, um, number of subscribers or number of views. That's it. It used to be, if you had at least 10,000 views, you were eligible for monetization. Oh, no, no, no. I don't just mean that. I mean the way they make money just per, uh, um, per watch. And this happened it, a yeah, while, it was long per time thousand, ago. Like per every so often, so, so every so many views, you got like two cents or something. Yeah. Like however that. they did that, it ended up screwing over animators because obviously it, they need, you need more videos quicker. Yeah. And animators tend to do, you know, not super long videos, but it takes a longer amount of time to put. Each oh yeah. Out. Like a five minute, a five minute video from an animator can take a, you know, Three, four, or five days, or yeah. weeks, or at a time. I mean, or longer, depending on how much. Work I mean, they're shit, putting dude. Into it. I was playing when I first started playing with serious video editing for this. I mean, a five-minute edited video with effects and shit took me an hour and a half, and yeah. that was that was nowhere near as. And that's just as, editing. That was yeah. That was just pop this video in, trim that, cut that, put this stupid transition in, <laughs> throw some ta- captions up, say, oh yeah, this is what this is. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. And, and and that was before I was doing the credit scenes and shit. So, yeah. I mean, I, I've got a streamlined process now so I can create videos pretty quick. And more of the time is spent waiting for it to render than for me doing any actual editing anymore. But yeah. it's still like, yeah, no, it, it's serious. Like, it can still take you a few, several hours mm-hmm. to just fucking create the video let alone actually stopping and animating and stuff so i mean i i could imagine that there are rois are fucking non-existent yeah oh yeah and yeah i'm still subbed to it. every once in a while when they put something out there i want to see it i was subbed for uh i don't remember why i had because i didn't watch his videos but i was subbed to pewdiepie for a long time I mean, and then, it's like a default thing. Like how I, when it you joined like MySpace, it. It might fucking be. like when you joined MySpace, everyone was a friend with Tom. Yeah, first. Tom was automatically a friend. It's kind of like you just make a YouTube account. PewDiePie was automatically subscribed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's the biggest fucking subscriber. Yeah. He's still the biggest on the platform. Yeah. Um, I mean, by, but, a, by a wide margin, too. Yeah. At some point a few months ago, um, I think it was Ron who mentioned, you know, he changed up the way he does videos. He doesn't do the... Just video game videos, and I started watching. And it's funny the way he's now basically doing par like taking ideas from other YouTubers, kind of parodied them, right. and then does it his own thing with that that sort of simple idea. Like he straight up does a uh, a, a news show that is heavily influenced by the Philip DeFranco show. Yeah. And he acknowledges it in the show because he will literally come in and say, Hey, beautiful bastards, or something like that. Um, I mean, those dudes are friends. So straight up, yeah, yeah, straight up has a. Uh, uh, <laughs> The uh, something from Jack's films. Uh, yesterday I asked you. He does the why, <laughs> and his videos are actually really funny now. I don't know, like I didn't. I wasn't a PewDiePie fan before. Yeah, I never really got into the. I, I didn't like Let's Plays, but um, his videos now are great. I mean, I'm just I'm not one of those people that I think ever that, that PewDiePie ever really appealed to. No, no, no. It's definitely I, not the demographic, and I wasn't either. I mean, it's, and like. It's the same thing with like you know, uh, Total Biscuit, you know, yeah. who recently oh, yeah. passed. Um, like 
I never watched the guy. Yeah. So while I'm sad that we lost someone who was so amazing, I I it doesn't affect me in a way. Yeah. So I never I mean, watched him. He's someone that I I remember watching a few of his videos way back when he pretty much did reviews. Right. I would watch some, but Total Biscuit was always someone that he did more of the PC stuff. Right. And while when he did do some console reviews and things like that, I would check him out. Uh, he wasn't like one of my main sources or anything, but uh, I still remember his video on uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine because I was really looking forward to that game coming out. And he's someone who's been in the Warhammer 40k scene. He's been, uh, it, he, I mean, obviously he was big in the games um, uh, journalism, I guess is best. I mean, yeah, he he was a very yeah. big like advocate for like making sure we had a quality a yeah. quality in that in that in that regard and he, was very, he did reviews and, and did he, games journalism yeah, and he was very pro it. consumer yeah so it's like the dude it's one the reason dude he was, was great yeah was, the dude is cool he, he was impartial and he was he was yeah. level-headed all the time i never watched him though because i honestly he was one of those people i never knew about yeah. as strange as that might sound to you it's like i and well, I, I mean there's nothing wrong with that i really I had heard of him, but I didn't see him much, except for that one review, which was fucking great. First, first like first look at that game, yeah, and how hyped he was for it and excited made me go like one hundred percent, you know, waiting for that game and ended up being a great fucking game. But um, other than that, like I wouldn't really see anything until he was doing something with like Jim Sterling, right? Where they, they like they both went to Valve. He did st- stuff with uh I, quite a few like other people would mention him. Um, I think Yahtzee from uh, Escapist had mentioned him a few times. I don't like, even know who that is either. Like, I feel so crazy. out of touch. Like, yeah. And it's so strange because I've been on the internet for fucking, oh my God, 20 years now. But these none of these people who have been these long time things have ever been people I've known about. And I mean, so I guess strange. it just depends on what, you know, what you, what you followed, what, uh, I mean, most of my time in my teen years was spent on programming forums yeah. and, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, the RPG toolkit forum and less on YouTube and less mm-hmm. on video sites and stuff. Um, and that, that's actually something like watching YouTube's uh, YouTube and, and tube like sites is extremely recent for me. Yeah. We're talking within like the last four years type recent. I still remember the original, the original OG YouTube layout. Back when YouTube was pretty much ju- like even before the vlogs took over, before it blo- like back any when of that there stuff, was the uh, ten minute limit. Yeah, the no. ten minute limit when YouTube was full of just like videos of pets, uh, like early early memes, like like fucking before Charlie bit me type stuff. Um, before people were doing actual skidded content, and it was just like anime music videos. It was just AMVs and like random stupid clips of things. Yeah. Um, fights that would show up on there every once in a while. And that was it. And it was, uh, I mean, it was like golden back then. It was, it was a wild west in a way. Yeah. yeah. No advertising uh, or very limited. I can't remember. I don't think it, ha- I think that was even like, they didn't even have Google ads back then. Uh, yeah. The, I mean, that would have been before they were bought. Yeah. Like, well, like long that. before they were yeah. bought. But I still remember back then and people started like, the the blogs like once the vlogs started yeah people started doing scripted type of content mm. um and uh, like you know people like philip defranco got their start i remember the angry grandpa i remember just all these t- lots and lots of channels um and and here i am sitting here like uh, i don't know any of these people no which yeah, is I, ground zero online <laughs> <laughs> i do remember that um have you yeah. watched his newer stuff it's so cringy. I don't think so. He he he's done a couple of recent videos. And oh the, yes, the opening yeah, yeah, anime. Yeah, yeah. On, the opening anime intro is just so cringy. It really fucking is. I oh. saw that. It was like part of it. Some of it's well done. It's interesting. I mean, it's well done. It's, I'm, I'm gonna give the. It's, it's actually well done. It's just cringy. The content. It's really cringy. And he and maybe maybe it's because it's been a few years since uh-huh. I last saw one of his videos, and perhaps it's because I've gotten a little more open minded, a little more progressive. And dare I say, a little more intelligent than I was, you know, when I was twenty six or twenty seven. Yeah, um, yeah, I've grown a little bit. I don't find his videos 
particularly amusing anymore. I don't remember what it's just, the one it's just, he came it's, back on. It's just some black dude yelling into a camera about random things, and it's just not funny to me anymore. I was sitting there. I, he put out a video pretty – the, the mm-hmm. last video he put out, I don't know what – I don't remember what it was. I, I think I, I, I skipped past his intro yeah. and got straight to him. And I think I made it a minute and a half where I'm like, I don't want to watch this. Rant videos don't hold attention like they used to. Yeah. I think it's something where because that that was another thing that was like a fad for a little while. Yeah. Is you could watch someone just rant, and especially <laughs> if they were good at it. And yep. he, he was. He was. He was entertaining. His rants were funny. Um, His insults were good. Yeah. And it was like, and I could, there's a few others. I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. But there were people that would do rants in, in their videos. Uh, Francis. From Boogie 2988 was a good example of one. Yeah. And even though his were meant to be comedy and would kind of go back and forth, um, rants had their place. And then now it's kind of like, eh, I mean, I could watch this, but it's one person really arguing about one thing for 15, 20 minutes or whatever. 12, yeah, I mean, 10 to 15. If you're going to do a rant video like that, you need to keep it short. Yeah, I think that's a big issue. Um, I don't know. His first video when he came back I thought was okay, but yeah, I didn't even finish it. I mean, he did a 26-minute video recently, I think, on not maybe Flat Earthers. And maybe, something like that. I mean... It, Don't get me wrong. Insult them all day long. Right. Um, but at the same time, they are very low-hanging fruit. And they are beyond logic. Yeah. They, it's really, just, are. they really, really are. It's this, it's this level of... I think it's for people that really want there to be more fantasy in real life than there actually is. It's like people that, you know, the conspiracy theory type stuff. Because that's – at first I just thought it was just maybe they believe in a maybe, different science. Maybe but no, it the... really stems from a conspiracy theory style, just a way they believe everything. It, it, it Legitimately, I think it's people that want more fantasy in real life. They want to believe in just crazy stuff that it's like, I, okay, but realize reality is a lot more simple because human beings are kind of dumb. Like, we're simple creatures. I, There's a lot of secrets out there that, for that level to be kept, no. The government couldn't even sell drugs, uh, give guns for drugs in South America for as long as they did without all of that information getting out. I mean, they could run mind control tests without people finding out. Yeah, like in, like in the 60s <coughs> and 70s. Like, like MK Ultra. Like that was yeah. a thing. They couldn't keep that a secret. <laughs> <laughs> you really, uh, like, you really, like, you really think that out there at the edge of the world there's just an ice wall and that no one has found it and that it it's yet. been a secret that, that they're trying to keep this whole time like I would give more credit to people that, that deny the moon landing than that because at least you have like <clears throat> well maybe the video is fake like no but at the same time it's more still more believable than no no one's ever gone this far I mean that that's the thing that And they're me. all hiding it from back in the fucking 1500s? No. Why? Or even before. We're talking Oh my god, no. BC, we're, right? We're talking I mean uh, like early No, AD. you're talking BC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, like, you're absolutely uh, right. The ancient Greeks yes, yeah, knew yeah. that the earth was round. Okay, you can't sit there and look at the fucking sky and acknowledge that the, the moon is round, Mars is round, the sun yeah. is round. But the no, we're fucking totally flat. But why are all the other planets round? Yeah. Why are they all spheroids? You do and know we can calculate that, that, shit. that the fucking that the round shape that we we imbibe, the round shape that we are, is just the natural shape for what that gravity yeah. induces. Oh, but Every, gravity's fake. That's my favorite part of it. Is gravity does exist. Uh Okay. So how do they rectify rotations? Oh, what is it? It's uh. Oh, I they know. don't. They ignore the fact that they say no. There's no rotation. It's, it's, there's no, so wait, I don't. Wait, wait, So how do they explain the sun moving? <laughs> how do they explain the sun? A turtle is swimming around the sun, okay? I think that's what it is, is we're on the back of a turtle. It's turtles all the way down. Dude, I'm more accepting of that than I am of flat earth. <laughs> I told somebody one time, I was like, fuck you or the eye of a giant. I'm going with that theory. If we're going with anything. Like, dude, I, I'm way more willing to accept that we are on the back of a fucking turtle, and it's just turtles all the way down. It's turtles. I am way more open to that. Because Fuck you. A, I know it's turtles all the way down. Because A, turtles are awesome. Yeah. And B, it it's so much le- – somehow, some way, it's so much less batshit insane. Exactly. I, I – 
It's mind-boggling. Fantasy. It's. I think it's just a desire to believe in in more fantasy. <laughs> which, all right, go you. But just know that the Dude, rest of I, I, here I have to say, I, 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 part of me wants to sit here and think that at least maybe a quarter to a third of the Flat Earth Society's members, they've got to be trolls. They've got to be so. trolls. Like they, they have. To, they've got to be trolls because to sit there. The mental gymnastics that it requires to just ignore all evidence and logic and mathematics and science and and it's facts. simply and it's simply to just say like completely say well everyone is lying that is a scientist there's no such thing as science or that they're all lying because of this giant conspiracy but why why yeah, when yeah. all of these people from uh, throughout history yeah, so, like seriously what. What benefit is there? Exactly. Like, what, what is ben- the benefit? Where is this? Why? Get- why? Why are we? <laughs> is it the globe markets? Is it the market for globes? Because it- I gotta tell you, we don't sell a lot of those. I don't think so. I think just to schools and classrooms. I'm sure there's like a tax thing on those. It's like, what is the benefit? And what- they're not even very good. Africa is not that small. What benefit <laughs> is there? To keep that a secret, no idea. like like that's the what thing that money kills is me there the to be made? I want that fucker Why who wants they... to shoot himself into a rocket. I want him to succeed and launch himself into low goddamn orbit. So his last words will be, "Oh fuck, I see the curve," and then he will fucking freeze and suffocate to death. I just I want to know what is the point of spending all of that money to keep that a secret? Like, how does that benefit anyone? What 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 is th- what is the money maker there? I don't understand. If we're spending I don't know. hundreds of trillions of dollars or billions or whatever they I mean, say over, we're spending you're over to keep time, that from secret, like, why? From ancient Roman times to throughout. Uh, uh, what What is the benefit? I don't, I don't know. What is the benefit? I, someone, at the same time. Someone, if you are a flat earther, please, in all seriousness, get in touch with me. Email me at joe at ungodlygeeks.com. And explain – don't don't explain any of your reasoning behind why you think that it is a thing. Because you're wrong. I, I don't care about any of that. I want to know what you think the benefit is of keeping that a secret. Yeah. I, I need I need to know this because uh, why is that what, – what – like every conspiracy theory has some – some merit of beneficiary like like there's something there where there is a, a like an end like goal. the jfk yeah. conspiracy so like the cia did it or the mafia did it or whatever because at least then obviously yeah there's there's a benefactor uh yeah or like with, with uh any anything involving mm-hmm. the moon landing I, I okay maybe not that one i would say the moon landing it, it was the it was just to beat russia and but, I mean, but, it was but, that it was but, that but, goal of to do it first. What what well, this conspiracy that you hold dear, mm-hmm. that you that you believe in, that you cling to for whatever reason? I don't care about any of that. If I it want were to know, true, what's the purpose? What is the ben- Yeah, what is the benefit of spending all this money that you claim our governments are spending to keep this a secret? Why? I mean, why? What is – why? <laughs> if it came to it, it would – to me, it would probably end up – if I had to guess, for some of them, it's going to end up being the same thing as you, the young earth theory. It would be a religious thing. Okay, Maybe okay. they think there's somewhere in the Bible no, that – No, 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 no. Listen, in, listen, listen, listen. I don't care about your religion. Yeah. So don't include that as a reason because that is an invalid reason. OK. I want a logical, sound argument. That is an actual. Well, you're, no, you're, no, no, you're no, no, asking no. the wrong group I of sure people am. for that. But I want, I want in your mind. I want you to make an argument to me. Who makes it, like? Why would they make the money? That's it, it. Always boils down to money. What is the money in telling people that the Earth is round? Why? Like, uh, like, uh, like. I mean, you you go back to Christopher Columbus, and I don't. I still there's there's. I don't see anywhere like we we made money more through trade by finding out the Earth is round. For more trade routes. So at what point did them like someone going, nah, man, you can't you can't go around that way. We'll have to go this way. I'm, I'm the only one who can go and get your spices because there's no way to go that way. Like that's the only way I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, I give up. <laughs> yeah, basically. Seriously though, if you're listening and you're a flat earther, get me a good reason. Email it to me. I will keep an eye out for your email. I want to know. Yeah. I want to know what is the benefit to keeping 
the, the flat earth secret a secret? Like, what benefit is there? Like, unless, like, someone fucked up and uh, and put out that it's a globe and then went, oh, fuck. We don't want to change anything. Screw it. Just tell everyone it's a globe from now on. And then, like, it's just a lie that ever they all perpetual. <laughs> Because they don't want to go back and change anything. Oh, but that's man. stupid, too. Don't be wrong. There that, are times... That doesn't explain why we're spending billions of dollars to keep it a secret. I mean, are we... St- we're not, of course, because it's retarded. If yeah. we think that. But... I think it would just be over time. I mean, that being the prevailing well, thought, yeah, exactly. scientifically. But, but, like, but, like, there's no I reason... The tests and I... Considering that almost everything we do has one of two reasons to do it. Either for the good of humanity or for I money. I swear to God in the Bible... The, the Earth is listed as round, but yeah. Okay, but it doesn't fucking matter. Okay, but even on top of it, yeah. the Earth's also not six thousand years old. No, but that's no, not it the is very we're much getting into it, either. It is, but it's much much older than that as well. Uh, but it's like, uh, well, no, it's not because it is older than that. Well, whatever you know. I mean, six thousand years happened, and then it kept going. But um, it, it's it's a thing. Is it's like like there's just no benefit. No, I, there's I, no reasoning behind it. I guess I don't even remember the point I was about to make now because it's just so stupid. Like, there's a, I, I gotta know though. I gotta know. I just gotta know. Yeah. Someone tell me. Someone clue me in. I was watching one of the Joe Rogan podcasts and they were talking about there's um, mm-hmm. people who are it, it, there's kind of a debate and I don't know how recent this was. I don't know how old the podcast was. I think it was 2018 though. Earlier in this year, there are some scientists that are putting forth the idea mm-hmm. that. Um, there are some of the structures in Egypt, specifically the Sphinx is one, are much, much older than we think they are. And they believe there's evidence to suggest that some of that stuff could be hundreds, of, maybe thousands of years older than other structures, which would put the date back on Egyptian society way back further than we think. Like um, there's – I know there's texts or something that the one of the people referenced that uh, – talked about some of uh, the, I don't know if it was cities or some of the structures being covered in sand in their day, and mm-hmm. which would put date that stuff way, way older, which is really interesting. Right, of course, right. when you have something like that in, in you know history and science, there are a lot of people who give pushback. Of course. Part of the reason for I mean, that pushback is obviously in, scientific, in, in history books and things, we've been putting these dates for, you know, however many years, so we'd have to go back, correct that. You know, redo all that stuff, which is a big undertaking. So it's one of the things that it's pretty it, it's not a bad thing to be very critical because much better off being, I mean, yeah. completely correct. I mean, complete uh, healthy skepticism is yeah. always nice to have. I exactly. Mean, exactly. I, I, I will never especially when you're dealing with something like ancient history. Right. Uh, and, and stuff like that, like all of that car. It's always good to, to yeah. have a small bit of doubt. Mm-hmm. Um, never take stuff like that at face value, which is why I don't. I mean, <laughs> never mind. Um, let's, let's move on a little bit here, because otherwise it's going to get me into rant mode. <laughs> I just like that. I like I like ancient Egyptian history quite a bit. Um, that was kind of interesting. <sighs> fucking six thousand. <000. laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh man, I got rocks in my backyard older than that man. Seriously. At some at some point, we need to go to the. Uh, creation museum it's right down uh, not do you, far from us in kentucky do you think they Second would let us one. film it you know they might if we don't tell them uh we're why we're them. filming it yeah don't tell them what that we're the ungodly geeks our name has nothing to do with religion but uh i, I don't think it would go over well probably not no yeah. i mean that would definitely be misconstrued i've been there they're they're uh they're uh uh it's one bar. of those things though where you'd have to you'd have to you'd have to get like an extended battery for yeah. the camera and it would just be you holding the camera and me yelling like, "No, that's fucking wrong. That's stupid. What the this fuck? Is stupid." I mean, I when I remember going there as a kid, uh, is it that early old on. that you were able to go as a kid? Oh, it's uh, it's got to be ten or fifteen years old. I mean, no more than that. I I think I was twelve. Because I mean, I remember this being a relatively recent thing. I I don't. Oh, the museum's not recent. Everything came from the ark. Um, the Ark Water, <laughs> fuck that, that kills me still. The Ark Water Park was, I think, what brought it back into, and then obviously the Bill Nye debate for Ken Ham, uh, and some other things. But no, the museum has been around since, shit, must be 2006, 2005? I don't remember. Maybe even older than that. Uh, they don't seem to have the date it was built. 
Um, yeah, on their own well, website, on their about us, they don't they don't even have. Oh yeah, we were built and founded in uh, ni- 1992 or anything. Like they they just straight up don't. They just straight up don't say anything. Um, which is a little weird, honestly. It's like you would think that you would want that because you'd have to be proud. That- Religionless came out in 2008. Um, so I know that he. Uh, whatever. Fuck, what's the comedian's name? Uh, you're talking about Bill Maher? Bill Maher. Yeah. He went to the Creation Museum before it was complete and talked to Ken Ham and some other people that work there. And um, what's I can't remember the name of the group. Like Young Earth Christian Ministry or whatever. Uh, or Christian Science, whatever. He talked to them and then obviously did the rest of the movie. The movie came Before the movie came out, though, it was open. So it, I think it opened in either 2006 or 2007. I just I find depending it, on how long he uh, kind of find it strange that they don't have that information. Like, oh, let's see, like right yeah, maybe front. Wikipedia will have this information. Yeah, I know yeah, it's May quite a few years uh, old. May twenty eighth, two thousand seven. Yeah, yeah, holy see. shit, guys. Yeah, it's it's been around. Like I said, they're um, you're looking at twelve years. Their uh, laser like uni- like universe galaxy map about the planetarium. Thing. Planetarium, yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That was really cool. I bet you it's not accurate, though. Oh, no. Hell no. I'm the gonna, only thing that's gonna, accurate is they do mention the fact that, um, like, these, the distance they stuff they talk about was accurate. However, obviously, time, they don't mention. They, like, the the amount of time it would take light to travel. It was like, and isn't it amazing that God put that all there and made it so you can see it now, even though it's so far away, which, you know, should indicate that it's billions of years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Dude. the disconnect there is kind of it takes eight minutes for the light to get here from our sun yes yeah but i'm talking minutes. about stars the it, the universe in general right some of the most of those stars are already dead yeah no i mean you look up into the sky just about every star you see is dead yeah <laughs> they're they're very very old. either they're dead or they're so far away that we can no longer actually see them that the red shift is is Whatever, man. I'm not yeah. going to get into but that. But it was that, that part of it was cool. And I mean, at the, the when I was a kid, I was like, ah, dinosaurs. What, looking at look, animatronic dinosaurs and shit. I mean, stuff like that will be. I, all right, I can I can be, I can get on board with that. Yeah. Um. I mean, it wasn't six thousand years ago that they existed. No, God, but, no. No, no, no. People were not literally riding them in saddles as they have uh, in the <laughs> in the exhibits. I would love to see somebody try to fucking saddle a reptile today. Yeah. Like, fucking take a saddle and go down and try to tame a goddamn croc. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Put a saddle on a Komodo dragon. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how fe- let's see how fucking fast your ass gets eaten. <laughs> Throw it in the middle of winter in, like, fucking Michigan or something, and then I bet you could put a goddamn saddle on it because it's freezing to death. Well, yeah, because it's going to be fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, no, it's probably not a good idea. Like, no, you, you weren't riding T-Rexes and shit because it, <sighs> it doesn't fucking work that way. So funny. So, In so fact, funny. humans didn't exist when T-Rexes existed, so... Nope. Half the dinosaurs didn't exist at the same time. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's there's a few million years between each major dinosaur we know about. What is it? Uh, 60-something million years between the T-Rex and... Uh, fuck, Brontosaurus or some shit? Like, I, I don't remember. In fact, I know Brontosaurus it's, it's might not have even existed. Yeah, the original, the, the, what we think of as the brontosaurus didn't. There, it's like the combination of two other dinosaurs. Or yeah, something. It, it's kind of those goofy. stories of the way that stuff ended up were crazy. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'd be completely down for visiting that, but we'd have to get permission to film me screaming. I mean, we would get kicked out so fast. And I mean, are you kidding? You know Dude, what's funny is I, I'm sure they've had people that have done that multiple times. Yeah, because I, I mean, we're we're kind of now over the age of cringy atheism. Um, but they still exist, and I'm sure some of them. Like, I'd love to go see, like, look up, like, what uh, amazing atheist. See if he went down there and screamed and read. <laughs> I wouldn't read. It would be a matter. Of, like, I don't, it's not about the religion. You yeah. Know, for me, it's the matter of you are so completely in factual. I think like, Bill Nye went through and was like, like, like went through everything. Like, yeah, this is why this is wrong. Like, you you are so far from fact. <laughs> You're like, yeah, what is wrong with this? This is so stupid. I'm with the camera. Dinosaur. <laughs> so you zoom in on like a you dinosaur use frog face? DNA. <laughs> the DNA of frogs. Yeah, we we filled it in with uh, 
It was a foul DNA, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, what was the one they oh, used man, for the Irex? The fucking. Uh, <sighs> oh my god. The abysmal fucking. I mean, say what you want. The movie had entertain, you know, entertaining, yeah, but Lost World was. Uh, and the Lost World, the no, uh, no, no. Sequel. You're thinking of uh, Jurassic World. Oh, I'm World. sorry. Yeah, Jurassic World. Although Lost World was trash too. Yeah, that was pretty trash. But uh, yeah, no. Lost World, <sighs> Jurassic World, yeah, had some parts. I I gotta say, the trailers have still won me over on the sequel, which I didn't think would happen. I, I they might, look pretty cool. I mean, I'm gonna have to go see it. Yeah, like it's. it's I want to see it way more than I want to see Solo. Which I forgot was even out. I think it came out last night. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it did. And you know, one of one of the guys at work asked me, "Hey, did you go see that new Star Wars movie?" I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, somebody else asked me, and I was like, no. I I I, uh, I straight up told him I actually I forgot off. it come out. It yeah. had come out. Like, I want to go see Deadpool again, but I yeah. I don't care to see Solo. No, we got to see Infinity War again, man. Yeah, I, I want to see both Infinity. Well, I saw it twice. I want to go see it again. I have third time's the charm. Um, I, I'll go. See I definitely again. want to go see Deadpool two again. Oh, but yeah. yeah, Solo. Like, I mean, it might be good. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm kind of interested, but not really. No, uh, I mean, I've just if somebody right, even posted. Dude, I they, saw an article that was saying, "Are we hitting Star Wars fatigue?" And I'm going to be interested to see what the box office is for Solo because if it's lower than um, the Rogue One box office, they need to start being worried. I, I liked Rogue One, though. I did, too. Rogue yeah. One was pretty good. But, dude, I, it's not that I'm getting Star Wars fatigued. It's that... I don't like the direction they took it. Yeah. Um, I don't I, like I, it. I, I dislike get... it a lot. I dislike the way they treated people's reactions. And it's just, I'm like, eh. Yeah, I'm just kind of... I kinda was I was mad on a solo standalone movie anyway. Mm. Because part of the, like, to me... And it's something we've talked about before. Part of the thing that makes Han Solo so cool is that you just hear about those things. Yeah. How awesome he was. Granted, like, seeing him get the Millennium Falcon, seeing the backstory between him and um, uh, Lando, Lando, that stuff's cool. But other than that, like, there's not a lot. Like, I don't want to see the Kessel run. I don't want to see certain things that gave him... His mystique, but I mean, you know, may, maybe it ends up being great. Who knows? They, the fact that they just confirmed a Boba Fett, like now it's confirmed. It's got a director. It's happening. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I, fucking I'm, months I, ago, I would have been like, yeah, Boba Fett movie. <laughs> he was a toy that made people like the character, even though he wasn't even fucking in the movie more than 10 seconds. Yeah, he was in the movie. Had- he got knocked away by a blonde, blind Han <laughs> into the Sarlacc pit. It was pretty much, it was pretty trash. He was just, he was a fucking one-shot throwaway character. And the fact that he had he had an awesome look and a toy that came out that shot a missile made him, everyone like, oh my God, he's so cool. He's the greatest bounty hunter ever. But why? <laughs> they, what makes him such a great bounty they hunter? They wrote him a great backstory after the fact. <laughs> why, <laughs> because why? he had nothing in that movie. Because Darth Vader stopped, looked at him specifically, and said, no disintegrations. Which means you know this is a bad motherfucker because he disintegrates people. And, I mean, Vader, of all people, yeah. took notice of him in a way. So, I, I I mean, that was really about the only thing that made him anything worth yeah, anything yeah. is because the most badass motherfucker in the series looked at him and said, please don't most do this thing. Most badass motherfucker in the galaxy. Although, I mean, in in reality, any anything in Star Wars people grab and take and have created tons and tons of content for. Like, that's where you saw IG-88 and Bosk and lots of other characters. Like, general people don't know, but if you're a Star Wars fan, you're like, oh, no, IG-88, man. Fucking terrifying uh, uh, robot. Fucking uh, his AI was never reset, so he's fucking murdering. Just loves murdering people. And he gets paid to do it. Murder Bosk Bob. is just a... Tr- 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 I think. Fucking big badass bounty hunter. And, I, I I have no idea. I'm one of the average people that don't yeah. know that much. I, I mean. like I love Star Wars lore and stuff. And those were always cool characters. Bounty hunters, like Star Wars, kind of is one of those things that created really great rogues and antihero type things. Right. With um, you know Han being more of the antihero, the smuggler. You've got the good being you know Jedi and the rebels. Um, you know more not not necessarily evil but m- a little bit on the darker side from anti-heroes being the bar uh, the uh, bounty hunters and then obviously imperials being the nazis basically <laughs> yeah no i mean they were they were straight up nazis 
They were, yeah, the an allegory from the Nazis or whatever you want to call it. Allegory. Yeah. Allegory is 100% correct. Pretty much perfect word, man. All right, guys. We're going to wind it down there. Um, Did we end an hour? Jeez. Yeah, we're just we had like about... 100 more things we were going to talk about. And instead, we talked about flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> I just yelled into the microphone for an hour. It deserved it. Oh, my it God. It knows what it did. <laughs> it knows what it did. <laughs> that reminds me. I think it was a uh, uh, fucking minefield or uh, no. One of the channels that looks into like could a flat Earth be po- like the kind of game, like yeah. they they explain things. Mm-hmm. They looked into would a flat Earth be possible, and no, it wouldn't be. But a curved Earth would be. <laughs> but uh, doesn't matter because whatever. Because there's a conspiracy out there, guys. Give me a Halo Earth. Uh, more like a soup bowl Earth. Soup bowl. Yeah, like like uh, it's it it's got a flat center, but then as yeah. you get to the edges, it curves up until it hits a ninety degree angle. Yeah. So, nice. anyway, we're gonna go Strange. ahead and sign off there. If I remember that video, I'll link it. But don't fucking don't quote us. Don't 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 fucking expect me to do that. Don't get all your information from YouTube videos, please. Don't get all your information from me either. Uh, <laughs> so, for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you.